Vehicle machine gun. Okay. Enter to enter. Amazing. All right, crash test buggy, here we go. I mean, forgive me for thinking that uh, up was forward, or W was forward. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guess I was right, all right. Okay. Let's keep the research going. Oh no. Fuel it with a bit of coal, maybe? Alright, so, what have we learned here? That I can pick up all this stuff and bring it back, easy peasy. Uh, why don't I have my, any of my iron chests here? That would be really clever. Oh well. I can have some regular chests. With some fast inserters. And some slow inserters, because why not? And then, where's my power? And I did... yeah, it's still not working, okay. Alright then, we'll actually have it... wait, this should be working, but it's not. Because I didn't line it up with this, of course. Like a clever person would have. This is just great. To the point where I can have so many more of them working for me. Probably not the most efficient way to, to work at all, but... Let's go make ourselves some more wood. No trees nearby, no problem. We have transportation now. How can one man handle such? This game is so much. Ooh, oops. Uh, this game is so much fun. Let's let's let go of those grenades. Damn shotgun! Really cleared the trees. Wow, it doesn't even make it that far. Disappointing. Perhaps the key here is that I need to strip out even more coal. But for that I need more iron. For that I need to get my coal back home. Okay, I don't trust for one minute that uh, that I could set these up to go inside the car so I can just get all this coal and bring it back to at least keep us going for a wee bit longer until I can manufacture myself a train Whee. 
Oh, this is so much fun, it should be illegal. Rail signals, circuit networks, fluid wagons. It's all sounding a bit lewd for me. Alright, don't shoot. Oh, can I drive it into the water? I can! Alright, let's not do that. Looks looks like a daft thing to do. Can I drive it over conveyor belts? It moves on the conveyor belt. <laughs> so good. So damn good. Alright, it moved just enough to get a bit of coal over there, then it runs out, and then it's going to fuel these things and keep going. No problem. Hold on, do you run on something else? Will you run on boxes? It's a shame stones don't burn. Maybe I should just stop drilling these. Oh, there is no stone left to drill. How am I doing on the stone front anyway? A couple thousand of it. I don't know if that's enough. Probably isn't. anybody's time to keep mining out stone, but I like having it there. the increased uh, flow of coal here will help, but no, I'm just not mining out that coal fast enough to satisfy anybody. I need that alternate uh, source of it, which means I need to build our railway. Mm, Alright. Railway almost certainly is going to need engines, right? Hmm, coal just doesn't flow here either. It's on limited lifespan, because, yeah, it's going to run out soon enough. A few minutes, in fact. I could build solar. Probably be a good idea to build solar. What does it require? Steel and circuits. Outputs 60 kilowatts. What I need are, oh, like a hundred of them. Yikes. Okay. Hmm. Alright, what I'm doing is probably going to need a whole ton of these, but still. Logistics is what it must be, right? Cargo wagon, locomotive. I need, st oh, I need a lot of engine units. And rail requires steel. Gives me two of them though. So I need to set up something that makes loads of the. Okay, I need to do a lot of. Uh... Oh boy. Let me think about this. I need to have two boxes flowing with uh, coal onto this to keep me alive until. until you know. So I think I should have three three chests like that, full of coal, pumping it out. Yeah, sure, let's have four.
with our fast uh, fast arms, which I don't have enough of. Really feeling the lack of. Oh, this time it's uh, electronic circuits. It can still be solved. All problems, solvable problems. So is it possible to play this game with very low pollution, or at least have an end game with no pollution? Because that sounds like an interesting thing. One, two, three, and I have my fourth one right here. go. Meantime, this guy who has plenty of fuel, we're gonna, gonna drive on back, pick up loads of coal to keep us going, going long enough to get what we need, which is our locomotive mojo running. Surround that coal box with fast inserter. Yeah, we're fine. Also, what is this at the bottom here? Not speed, it's probably not health because I can see that next to the buggy itself. Is it my personal health? Can I be attacked while I'm in the vehicle? Kind of makes sense if I could. Oh, I'm so happy that this moves so quick. Alright, how much coal are we talking here? Tell me everything. Mm, I've seen I've seen more. That's going to have to do us though. That is the health of the car. Then what's this? Or did I just not damage it that much? Really want to drive the car into the water, but it would be a, an incredibly silly thing to do. Let's not throw stones onto this thing, it would clog everything up. There we go, tons of coal billowing out. I wonder if the coal going this way is actually enough to get everything, or keep everything moving. Certainly loads of plates coming down, which is good. Which I need a lot of... Uh, how many, how many did I need? I feel like I'm researching things too fast here because it's unlocking stuff that I don't even know what to do with, so I should probably look up better shooting or something. Alright, locomotive. 20 engines. For which I am short on... On what exactly? Steel, pipes, and... okay. Probably the pipes. And I think I used all my pipes. Yeah. I guess this is where going for the lazy bastard achievement would help out quite a lot, because I would probably have so many pipes being chugged out of one of these machines. Okay, it's not the only thing I needed, clearly. Plenty of steel, thankfully. You should set up an assembler for rails. You're going to need a ton of them, says somebody. Well, not just anybody, it's Zergle. So I should probably believe it. It means I'm going to need stone, steel, and an iron stick. I never use iron sticks. Which also means I'm going to need a bunch of these. Which means I need a bunch of these. 
And as ever, I'm always short on. Uh, always short on. Oh, this is good to see. This is very good to see. Seeing this backed up means that you guys are constantly going to have a flow of that. And we're constantly going to have a flow of that. Excellent. Also, what's the hold up here? Some kind of slowdown when it comes to getting my... Uh... Huh, there is some kind of slowdown when it comes to you getting what I need there. Well, at least one of you is working hard. Okay, so where where was my mind at there? I need to pick up a whole bunch of steel. This is good, but I produce it twice as fast at the other side of the map. If only I could just climb through this stuff, or if I actually filled this in, that would be good too. So starved for steel. Maybe I should be uh, not steel, but uh, iron. Maybe I should be digging up more of it, like all of this. But again, it would take a lot of stuff to to dig it out. Just want my locomotives running. How much longer do you plan on going, Jake? Uh, about two hours ago. Don't worry about it. I'm not. All right. So take your pipes. Take your sprockets and make me those 20 engines. So then I have all the engines and all the steel that I need for the locomotive. Good. I'm going to need at least one cargo train. Wait, storage size 40? Is that 40? Must be 40 blocks, right? So I should only need one of those. Let's not worry about that. What I do need to worry about is the massive amount of straight rails I'm going to need. So it's a good thing I made all those stones. It's a good thing I... Mm. Maybe don't have quite as much steel plates as I wish I had, but 800 should be enough. Um, this thing's pretty slow at making steel. Mm. Well, let's keep this anyway. Hmm. Steel chest have massive storage size. One, two, three. Three is all I need. Iron sticks, steel plates, and stone. I still need one of you as well. Okay. I think all my stone is still over here, which is fine. I should set up a long-term thing for it, but since this is where the stone all goes, I don't know where the best place to set it all up is. I'll be processing oil eventually, let's be ready for it. Okay. I have approximately two million stone right here. I can also have another chest and another chest here. One is going to be full of all my steel, the other one... Wait, what did it need to have? Loads of these iron sticks, right? Uh, hmm. They don't take long to make, but a bit of a pain. Don't have to wait all that time. All they need is iron plate, huh? Hmm. Oh well. Must not take very long to make. And I'm going to need some more iron again. Alright, I the lack of music really makes me nervous all the time. I need to either find something that keeps it turned on, or I mean, what is even the alternative? Bring the music externally and play it there. It's far too quiet for my liking. 
All right, the rest of those can go away. Shove those in for now. And I need one, two, three of you. Fast inserter. We haven't used the filter ones yet. I guess they only pick up what you tell them to. Don't know how fast it makes them. I only use one of each thing, so hopefully it makes them super fast, and I will need a fast inserter to take it out. Get working. Nice. Very nice. To the point where you're not even fast enough. Plastic? Sulfur? Flammable. Okay, well, no sense beating around the bush. We're going for the full flammable. Try and make as many of those metal sticks as we can, wherever they are. There we go. Because, yeah, I'm probably going to need a ton of these tracks. Yeah, I mean, I'm not producing that much more pollution, right? And Isaac seems to love it. This is all nicely dealt with. Basically, life is good. Why they only put it on one side, though? Why not the other side, too? I don't understand that. There's also not really a need for any of this anymore. They could put it on both sides, although, you know, it would still clog in the same way. Try out green and red wires to know how they work. With little effort, you can improve things a lot. Inserters only put down items on the far side. So, haha, well, I'm glad we got that out of the way. Okay, so I got a ton of you now. I should have plenty of engines as well. Better have. Good, that means I should be able to build my awesome locomotive. Taking these with me as well, of course. It's a shame things use power, even when they're not in service. I guess that's a way of telling you don't set up temporary things. Oh, ho, 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 nothing temporary about high explosives. We leave a lasting impact there. Great, this should be what I need. Now this is the last game I'm going to be looking into mods for. Okay. Oh, I haven't even been wearing my heavy armor. That is a mistake, Aruni. Got my engines. Yes, I can build my locomotive. Enter the train with enter. Open the train, okay. I don't think I have enough steel to make both though. Yeah, let's go and grab a touch more steel and we're good. Perfect. Plus one. Running out of coal though. Better go pick up more real soon. Perhaps when we are there, we can actually walk back whilst constructing our train line. 
Sounds like a plan. A sound plan. I did not pick up my railways. Uh, my... My tracks. Yoink. I want that flamethrower, I just can't afford it. Well, let's make more of a splash. What a fantastic game. Alright, so here we are. How much are we talking here? Ah, small amount of coal. That's good. Also got a bunch of this stuff that's not really being used, but that's okay. And it doesn't look like these gun turrets have killed anything for a while. Small biters have been killed, however, in the past ten minutes. I can only assume by our rail guns. Or turret guns, rather. Huh. That was no attack, that was pathetic. How am I meant to be scared by these Xenos if that's all they can do? Okay, so we've got a long way to go. I don't know how many squares of distance that is, I'm guessing lots. This is like a hundred. So using some very simple finger maths, it's one, two, can I pan this map? Yes I can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight-ish hundred. One, two, three, four, f not gonna make it, but we can start it off at least. Your levels of pollution are pathetic, says Orbital Elite. Certainly being elitist here. Remember, I just started this game. Well, I would say today, but it was kind of yesterday. Okay. Time to build that railway. Is what I will say the next time we play this game. Because, damn, I've been at this for a while. It's bitten me. It's gotten its little Zeno teeth right in my arm. I'll be coming back to Factorio before too long. Oh, but I should get up and move a bit. Before getting my ass to bed. Very good. I'm looking forward to playing more of this and launching my rocket. Or rockets per second, as the case may be. I'll be back tomorrow with some more streams, whatever they're going to be. And... Hmm, is there really anything else to say on top of that? Yeah, well, well done to the people that won the giveaway. And if you're wondering where the grand strategy is, I'm running a poll on the Patreon right now to figure out which campaign is going to be next. So if you're interested in getting involved in that, head over to that. Ah, it still hurts me to try and plug that kind of stuff. Anyway, enough talking for me. I'm done. See you later on today, I guess, because it's already next month. Cheerio.